here we have the new GoPro Hero 2 HD and we're going to show you how to take this apart and change the lens. First you want to remove the screws. The first two that we took out here are the smaller screws and the ones by the battery terminal are larger. So remember when you put them back in the larger ones go on the battery terminal side. Now what we want to do is you want to use something sharp and you want to pry off the sticker that's on the rear of the camera inside the battery compartment so then we can get the rest of the camera apart. It might take a little effort to get it off because it's pretty sticky but just peel it off, set it off to the side and then we're ready to pull the camera apart after we got the four screws out. Now we have a few more screws to take out in the corners. Always make sure you're real careful when pulling this thing apart. Okay, we're going to remove the lip now. And you heat it up, you can use a heat gun or a hair dryer. You just want to heat it up enough so you don't melt the actual housing of the, the camera here. So after you've heated it up, then what we're going to do is we are going to push it down right on its face and set it down just like shown. And then we're going to push down on the housing. It's going to should pop right out of there. There it is. So now that lip, you can choose to put it back in or you can keep it out. A lot of people will keep it out because this gives you the macro focus ability. To remove the lens, simply apply some heat from a heat gun. Don't overheat it. Just give it enough to give it a little loosen on the glue. They put a lot of glue in on this new lens. Make sure you go around it. Don't just leave it on there blaring, kind of work, work around it to heat it up. And then using some pliers, we used heat shrink around them. Um, you can use black tape. You just want to coat them. And then you want to make sure you're up high enough on the lens so your pliers aren't close to the circuit board. Because if you're too close to the circuit board, you can notch out some of the little uh, circuitry parts on it. So you want to over tighten just a little bit and then after you've over tightened it you want to start going back the opposite way and it'll take a little bit of force to get it out because of the, the glue and the threads on there but you unthread it out and notice on this new Hero 2 the shaft has a lip on it and the threads don't start till about four millimeters down you can cut this lip off if you would like and this will actually give you the ability to use our 2.8 to 12 millimeter lens and our 50 millimeter lens by cutting down the lip. So now to install your new lens we give you a rubber band gasket depending on what lens you have and the rubber band what it does is it creates a force so when you thread in the lens then it holds it nice in place and it won't vibrate out of focus and you don't have to glue it back in. So now when we put the lens back into the shaft you're going to want to reverse thread it a little bit to make sure it locks down into those threads. Don't give it a lot of force when you start to re-thread it in going clockwise. You just want to just you want to make sure it's going in straight so you don't cross thread it. This new one is designed real well and you shouldn't cross thread it. So you can use the HDMI output and then focus it right on a monitor or you can use the composite video out and focus it on a monitor. Now putting the camera back together, make sure the LCD readout is located perfectly in the little square there before you put it back together. Might be a kind of a pain to get it in there, but make sure it's in there straight before you try to force it in. And after you've got it lined up just right, 
Make sure you push the camera back together and everything looks right. You're not pinching anything. When we put in the screws, you're gonna wanna put in the screws just like we do here. You wanna tighten them just a little bit and then put in the other two, then tighten them down a little bit and then re-tighten them all so they're tight enough. This way the circuit board doesn't stay up higher on one side. Then you put the screws back in the rear. One thing to remember when focusing your new lens is you want to focus on an object about 150 foot away so it's best to do it outside. You put the label back in if you want to. Now what we want to do is we've got a little foam ring we include. You can cover up the circuit board if you don't want to put the lip back on the camera. This way you can always macro focus it exactly how you want. Use it as a microscope, focus it farther away, and the camera still fits perfectly in the waterproof housing. Looks good. Dressed up the circuit board. We include two different size rings. One that if you use the lip, this will go down in between the lens and the lip and create a nice force so the lens will not move and dress it up so you don't see the circuit board. So either way, you'll be able to hide the circuit board with both rings that we include with your lens kit. And there you have it. We have many different lenses we offer. See RageCams.com.